The cut flower industry has grown significantly over the last two decades, with countries such as Kenya, Colombia and Ethiopia joining Holland as major growers and exporters. The global floriculture industry is now worth around 55 billion US dollars, with cut flower trading being an important contributor to economies across the globe. However, some of the cut flower industry has been associated with quite poor and precarious working conditions, as well as a range of quite serious environmental concerns. So, for example, intensive flower production and international air transport can lead to high carbon and water footprints. Agrochemical pollution has been problematic in sensitive ecosystems. In this video, we hear from people from across the global cut flower industry who explain why being more sustainable matters to their business and how our Coventry University-based Sustainable Cut Flowers project is helping them to implement more sustainable practices. Florimets is the second largest flower exporter in the world. Uh, we supply flowers to florists on five continents. Working with Coventry has really helped us to translate for the florist all the various accreditations that we have from the growers, but that don't really mean anything in the real world. With the help of the project, we hope to make it accessible for florists to understand exactly what sustainability means in our industry. Our work with Coventry University came at a great time uh, in the flower industry. There was a real demand from our customers to have more information about sustainability and to know really where the flowers were coming from and a bit more background about the conditions for the workers. On the back of that, Fleur & Metz was already working in Holland uh, with FSI 2020, the Sustainability Initiative, so the whole thing has come together really well and working with Coventry has been great for us. Sustainability is it's crucial for our business um, and it's quite a big topic for us at the moment and, and actually it's all of our clients and also the venues that we work within are becoming uh, rightly so demanding to understand what our processes and our, our, our principles behind sustainability are. Um, I think there's probably been a vast amount of greenwashing over the years and actually now is the time that we need to kind of take a step forward and make sure that they understand what we can and can't do but also what our ambitions are taking it forward into, into event floristry um, and across our business. Um, coming on the journey with Coventry University has opened up an all number of questions for us really but what it has done is allowed us to really understand the direction in which we want to take. This project will give us the ability to create a structure that becomes tangible that we can kind of relay not only to the customer but also to our employees. Uh, we need to get everyone on board and we need to communicate it successfully. Well the British, British Florist Association is the trade body for florist. Uh, we're there to promote and protect florist, um, making sure that we educate them, uh, learning different practices etc, plus linking with government on new legislation that comes out. Education and training is an important part of what we do. Until I was invited to the first workshop at Coventry University, it wasn't on our agenda at all. Uh, and then since then, of course, um, we have actually developed um, educational programmes, um, i.e. with speakers at uh, Vision, which is our business conference, um, plus workshops from florists who are, if you like, more eco-friendly than others, and how they could use material that is sustainable uh, and recyclable uh, in their everyday businesses. So, it's, so in many ways the project has completely changed our thinking as an organisation um, and if it wasn't for the project of course as I said it wouldn't be on our agenda at all really so it's really brought it to the forefront. I'm one of a uh, growing group of florist growers around the country. Um, I'm a member of Flowers from the Farm which is the national organisation representing small-scale um, cut flower growers and florists who are committed to promoting and using British flowers. We know that local seasonal bouquets that are outdoor grown have the lowest possible carbon footprint of any flowers you could buy and that's significant because imported flowers do have a very high carbon footprint. This project has really opened up my eyes to the much more detail on the global supply chain for flowers and how basically not all imported flowers are grown under the same conditions, particularly for workers. So I've learned a lot more, for example, about fair trade and other certifications, their value, and whether we can use them um, as florists within the industry. And there are challenges to doing that. The project is playing a really important role by leading discussions about the principles of sustainability 
and how they apply to flowers from the farm members. This is helping us to fully explore and understand the different dimensions of sustainability in flower growing and floristry using British grown flowers. Ultimately, we will formalise our findings into a sustainability standard which will offer important assurances to our customers. Working Worldwide is an international NGO. It has worked for the last 30 years uh, across the world looking at global supply chains, in particular where women obviously are working. Um, and flowers has been a key part of it. It was one of the uh, initial starting points for Women Working Worldwide was around looking at the issues that women faced in particular in the flower trade. And that ranges from um, discrimination, sexual harassment, uh, low wages, uh, and also spills out into the local area, so within, around the community, around the farms. It's, it's a very complex and very complicated and very interrelated programme of work, but that's where we started. So the flower trade, both in uh, countries across the world, but also looking at trying to raise awareness within the UK on the uh, impact of, of people purchasing flowers and looking at things like fair trade and things like that. This project's been really important for women working worldwide as we've been able to establish new relationships across the sector and also deepen those relationships we already have. It's been incredibly timely as we've been able to work directly with commercial stakeholders like MM Flowers during the COVID-19 pandemic in order to mitigate some of the problems being faced by women workers in producer countries such as Kenya. Furthermore, in partnership with Fairtrade International and Coventry University and MM Flowers, we were able to put together a COVID-19 rapid response project, which has been co-funded by the UK government and UK retailers. So at the moment, the way Fairtrade Flowers works is very much geared towards the big uh, kind of retailer supply chains working with the big global traders. But through this forum, I've been able to meet florists, which has kind of really opened my eyes to a whole new market segment we could be working with. So through the forum that Commentary University hosted last April, I met with a leading flower trader in the UK. And at the point that I met them, they weren't trading any fair trade flowers at all, but they were trading into some of the biggest supermarkets that we have. Um, year and a half later, they actually supply fair trade lines now to some of those retailers and I've met with them independently of this group as well um, to kind of discuss how we could collaborate more. So for me, that's been a really key tangible outcome that's seen a growth in fair trade flower volumes is through being able to work with a, you know, a huge trader that I wouldn't have met otherwise. Many florists already have a deep appreciation of nature and an understanding of what business practices are problematic, but they're missing the tools and knowledge to change. At the Sustainable Floristry Network, we aim to educate florists about more sustainable design practices and central to this is having the knowledge to make more sustainable flower purchases. The work the team at Coventry University is doing is critical for driving the floral design world to a more sustainable future. In South Africa, we've been supporting the Cape flora industry in their efforts to promote sustainable practices amongst exporters who use flowers harvested from natural landscapes. Well, one of the main focuses that we, are, that we promote is the sustainable harvesting program because in the bouquet production side of the business, a lot of wild fenbos is used and harvested. So we do like to encourage our, especially our, our green suppliers, to embark or be part of the journey on sustainable harvesting. We also find it very important to be able to give our suppliers, especially our, our, um, our clients overseas, the assurance of um, ethical practices, and we feel that ethical practices go hand in, are, are a very big part of sustainability because investing in the people in your business is one of the most important ways to grow your business. So as we've seen in this video, there are many pressing sustainability issues, but it is wonderful to see the groundswell of desire within the industry to address these challenges. We need people like Coventry University to help us with the research, um, provide information that we can deliver then to workshops. So yeah, it's a big project I think, um, one that I believe will be ongoing for many years to come. In this ongoing project we will continue to work with our stakeholders to embed sustainable practices across the global cut flower sector. Watch this space for future updates.